Hi Poopsies, hi hi hi, it's me, Tony Bumbody, ASMR. Welcome back to your session. So, I will be doing a pick a pile tarot reading, a simple video today. You pick pile one or pile two. And um, if you are new here, I do do tarot readings on my website, tonybumbody.com. You can use the coupon codes in the corner to book your own service from me. Tarot reading is my most popular booked service so i can't wait to see you there and give you a reading an intuitive guided reading and um everyone's always welcome uh, so yes um, if you also want to go ahead you can subscribe tap the bell and hit all notifications all right because i upload every day for you and um let's begin so I just thought I'd keep it short, sweet, and simple today. What's your intuition telling you? This pile? Or this pile? Okay, pick a pile. I'll give you some time. Pick only one pile. If you're really called to, you can pick both. Okay, so let's do pile one. Pile one reading. Let's see what we need to know. Let's connect and tap in now. Divine kind of messages for pile one. For my Boopsy subscribers. What do they need to know now? Anything in general? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to connect and tap in. And yes, I also can do your tarot reading in ASMR if you request it. In the, uh, when you book, there's a place called comments. You just type your message there, your question for me. I also do general readings. You don't have to have a question if you don't have one. All questions, there's no shame. I've had all sorts of questions, private, personal, deep questions, <laughs> secrets. Yeah, like um, I've had hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> so uh, there's no judgment, okay? This is a judgment-free zone. I'm just here to give guidance. All right, let's see what we need to see. All right, so... Some of you, I would say... are uncertain about moving forward right now. All right, whether with an investment, uh, with an idea you've had for so long, right? Uh, asking the person out, <laughs> you're hesitant to move forward. There's an air of hesitation about you and I would say ultimately that It kind of could stem from, I don't want to say insecurity because that sounds like an, an insult, right? But it, it stems from a place of maybe not loving yourself harder enough, okay? There's a, a, a the future you that is so hard for us to see sometimes, right? Like we cannot fathom what our future selves will be like and how we shape ourselves and evolve, right? So do it. My point is do it. <sighs> Ask that person out. Upload that YouTube video you've been holding back for months, right? Like just do it. There's nothing holding you back but yourself. 
Alrighty, so may this be the courage for you to be able to uh, put that foot forward to do those things, alright? Give yourself the time to do it. Right now, maybe if you even want to pause and do what you have to do, go ahead, alright? But ground yourself. Don't get too out there too far, too excited. Because there's opportunity coming for you. There certainly is. And I think right now a lot of you are focused on money. <laughs> I think that's a big focus right now everywhere. Like that's all I hear about everywhere now. It's like, oh, you know, oh my gosh, everything is expensive, this and that and the other and the third, right? So I think we all need money right now. Okay, thank you, Jesus, right? <laughs> but um, my point is, guys, that um, there is um. Sort of a, a hopeful wishing, um, but you cannot get there without, again, taking that step and doing that thing that you maybe held off for so long or didn't feel comfortable doing because of some underlying insecurity, which we all have. I have so many, like, oh my god, you know, like, uh, we, we don't want to do something because we're, but that's out of a place of the self-love where I say like, you know, you have to keep in mind the, the appropriate measure. It's like baking, right? You scooping that little cup of powder for something like, um, a cake or something, right? Uh, and you're scooping a little love and you're just giving it to yourself in the recipe of, of your heart, right? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, you know, uh, the insecurity cannot reside where there's love, okay? So um, you're going to make more. You're going to have more um, prosperity and abundance in your life if you not only put that scoop of love in your heart, but the side effect of that will be no more insecurity and you allowing yourself to do what you want to do with your life to get there, to, to prosper, Okay? Um, so I feel like a lot of people need to hear that right now, this message, that no matter what happens in this world, the chaos and craziness, that you can always carve your own path, your own trail of success, okay? And it's, it's, it's one carved with love, out of love, okay? Remember that. So, um, although maybe some of you are not feeling so much in the generous spirit right now, maybe things are a little tight, Okay, I, it, it did download in my spirit a lot this morning, actually. Um, you know, I was like going through these readings. I was like, you know, I was just finished. Like I had to do a few bookings just now, a few tarot readings. And then um, I just got like a download in my spirit. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like so many people right now who are just... <sighs> it's like, what's the right word? dire straits, like a dire, like a consequence or something like that, and, um, yeah, you feel that sometimes, you feel that heaviness in the air a little, you know, and, uh, I felt a little tad bit, not so much this morning, I feel pretty good, but, like, um, yeah, just like picking up, sometimes you channel intuitively, like, the energy of the earth, and, like, its inhabitants, and you sort of are just... Hmm, you're observing and you're like, yeah, there is some some suffering and but there's still love There's still happiness in other parts. You know, we cannot deny the existence of both It's a balance correct, you know, even though suffering sometimes have loving good days happy moments, so we have to appreciate the fine balance of um, Not only this planet, but the community in general so but while I'm picking up on that vibe of pile one, I do see that for the most part, most are right now in the mode where maybe they're taking a step back, they're reevaluating their finances. Um, you know, uh, it's it's uh, it's tax season now, so you think like, yeah, maybe people are doing that, but also kind of maybe an air of weariness about their money. Okay, holding on to it a little more tightly, you know, still spending and splurging here and there, but overall being more precautious wherever they put their funds toward, maybe putting funds more toward things that will help them sustain, things that will give them 
advice, things that will allow them to grow their business, right? Uh, they get advice from something they grow. So, you know, uh, valuable things like that, that they can uh, uh, like almost trade and exchange their money for something that will make them grow a hundred times more, right? Than what they gave. So um, I think that's something that's wiser for a lot of people moving forward. And hold on on moving. Wait. Uh, wait. Do not move right away. Maybe you plan to move. Some of you uh, move in with someone, something like that. Wait until a couple, few more months. Don't do it now, like tomorrow, right? Like next week, right? Um, something will come through. Maybe something better, some other opportunity. Okay. Um, could have something to do with money. All right, there could be some issues with money coming through very, very soon. I know I see the month of May specifically. May gives me a little uneasy feeling in my spirit when I think of money, specifically money, okay? Nothing else, all right? Um, all right, even when it comes to, like I would say, uh, like closing a house and then like if you're self-employed and that month crashes, right? Like then the bank sees that and then, okay, so uh, you see my point, right? Then it'd be hard to be approved, right? So wait, wait, okay? All right, so moving on. Um, mm, this is interesting. So really what this is telling me, maybe you didn't worry about these things before, but now you do, all right? And that's because a lot of you have grown, okay, let's be real, a lot of you have grown, uh, like, uh, uh, let's say you've started watching my videos like eight years ago, right? Like, so you wouldn't have maybe vibed with this video or this reading, and I wouldn't have even done this type of reading before, right? But um, we, we've grown into it, right? Like you, uh, we've almost like grown with each other as a family, as a poopsie tribe, right? So um, this stuff didn't seem relevant before, didn't matter. I saw it coming. I mean, I may have been even speaking about it years before. No one listening. I'm sure other readers have as well. No one listening, right? But... Um, I think deep down inside we all saw this coming, okay? We all did. And um, we kind of knew something was up. Something was not right or changing. Okay, so mm, what can we do though, right? We can do nothing about it, okay? There's like forces or powers or something higher up in the spirit realm that we just have no control over, right? And that's all linked with source, energy. Um, and I would say that um, because of the ultimate power of God, honestly, um, the, or whatever you believe, of, of course, I respect everyone's viewpoint. Um, there's nothing we can do, right? What you can do, though, is to calm your worrying mind and realize that there is nothing we can do. Doesn't that give you so much peace sometimes you're like, yeah, well, I could fight this. I could resist this. But ultimately I can't. Because me, as one person, cannot do much. As many people, yeah, you can. If there's a lot of one persons like you, like like minds like you, yeah, then of course that can then something can be happen. Something can happen, so, you know, you know. Um, but this is something more. This is something greater than. This is an unstoppable force that we have no control over and no say in, no decision making in, okay? And it feels like that barn door is just about to close and lock. And... You can look at it like you're trapped, or you can look at it like you're just in a new phase of your life. And this is a part of your soul's journey. How will you choose to look at things like change? 
So this is whatever it means to you, right? This is not in general for anything. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. This is just all coming out of my mouth. What I am saying is what you feel that I'm saying. Because we're all going to have a different viewpoint of what I'm saying. It's like a poem. You're not going to understand the poem the same way someone else does. Make your own poem is what I'm saying, though. You're the writer of the poem of your life. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant what happens to you. It's what matters what's in you. And so if you haven't got that healing done, make sure that's out the way. Heal that inner child. Heal those parts of yourself. Um, go get that extra therapy session if you need. Heal, you know, love harder. Be there for your partner, your soulmate, right? Be there for your family. Hug them a little longer than you usually would. You know when you hug someone and they start to like pull away and, and resist after a few seconds? No, you grab them and you hold them. Squeeze them two, five more seconds, ten more seconds if you have to. Rub their back, you know, maybe massage their back. You know what I'm saying. Um, it's so important because every precious moment counts. And enjoy this time now before that that door closes on you because there's a door that I see closing a, an opportunity you could get right now and you're waiting and I said earlier you're, you're still hesitating you're still waiting you're still not doing that idea you had long ago do it don't wait because you may not have the ability or time to later one door closes though another opens never forget that you're not stuck or trapped in your situation forever. Whatever you may have placed yourself in is not eternal. It's an eternity if you make it so. If you believe that you deserve this eternity of suffering. A lot of you are not working right now. Maybe not in the mode of working. Maybe not feeling like working. Maybe wanting to quit or leave your job. A lot of this is out of uh, a mindset of fear though. Don't do it because you're afraid of staying stuck in a position. And don't do it because, um, and don't stay because you're afraid of what's out there. So if you're afraid of what's out there, leave your job and do something greater for yourself, for your higher purpose. If you're um, uh, If you're not afraid of what's out there and you're just afraid to lose your job, I would say even leave on that vibration because you're always emitting fear. Whatever is allowing you to emit the vibration of fear, leave from it. Do the opposite of what you know um, you're doing now so that you can face the fear head on because you're also not only going to have to um, do that thing you've been holding off for so long, you're going to have to be fearless in this time to come. And you're going to have to, that's why I say heal. When you heal, you don't let fear win and take over. Heal every bit of you that you possibly can. So you can look at the new reality coming your way very soon with a fresh pair of eyes. You're creating your own reality every day. We're all the creators and we're consciously, collectively creating a new one right now. We've been doing so for a while, actually. We just haven't realized it. Um, and so, what is this new thing for you? What's something new you've always been wanting to do? Do it, because you know what? I don't see anything holding you back from doing it in the future. That when that door opens, that other door opens for you of opportunity. You better climb in and jump in. You better be ready right then and there. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're not ready, I don't know when the heck you ever will be. All right. So let's see something else we need to know about pile one. What else do we need to know while we channel these energies of pile one? Allow me to tap the connect with pile one energies. Time will only be on your side right now. It won't be on your side soon. 
There's going to be too much other things going on in your life for you to be doing this. So do what you enjoy right now, this very moment in time. There's no time to waste. There's no time to wait. Get out of bed, hop out of bed, leap out of bed like a bunny rabbit and head on out there. Do the things you didn't even want to do before just because you can do them, right? Don't stay in the stuck board energy uh, that's not healthy anymore, right? Um, match to the new you, okay? Um, dare to be inspired to do those things, all right? And see the effects, the brilliant effects you have on others. When they see that light, that you dare to do those things, Oh my gosh, what an amazing world you will carve for others. I'm thinking, like when everyone's in that cage and the door is closed, metaphorically speaking, and you're the only one that's not afraid, you know, it's like contagious. You spread that fearless energy to others and then the door opens and you can all get out. You see what I'm saying? Keep that in mind. So while all your friends or family are texting you about what they're struggling with and they're afraid of, you be the light that shines onto them. You see what I'm saying? Take that with you and, and don't forget it. Also, I see... Um, honestly, if you haven't let go of exes by now, please do. That's part of your healing. Old friends who are just toxic baggage... Honestly, I mean, there's no more time to waste uh, on those people. Just uh, love and light, release and let it go. And that'll be part of your strength moving forward as you progress into this new age. The final outcome card, then we'll be complete. Again, the spiritual collective energy and mindset of where do we go from here? We can choose one path or the other. You gotta have already made up your mind. You gotta have just realized by now what is it you value? What's your worth? Some people are, and it's too late. Some of your friends and family, they're not gonna come back from this. Um, they've already cre created their own world, right? We've already shifted, actually. They've already made up their mind. They're going this way or that way. And what's your way, right? If you haven't yet, it's way overdue time that you've made up your mind. Am I going to stay stuck in that miserable job and be miserable the rest of my life? Or am I going to leave, create a new life, a new world for myself? Even if it means I'm going to be poor for the next 15 years, I'm going to do it because I enjoy it, darn it. And I'm going to struggle and fight and suffer if it means I'm happy long term. That's what a path I'm trying to say. And, um, and um, this is the time of the season to make up your mind. Once and for all, like now, like now, now, okay, now. It's, I, I feel the sense of urgency in my spirit. All right. Thank you, Pile One. Again, personal readings, TonyBomboni.com. It makes me so happy to see when you book. And I, if you do the 30 minute, it's much better and actually recommend it because I go more in depth. All right. And I, I don't rush your reading. So it's more, more, um, it's better. It's just better in so many ways. All right. Pile two. If you pick pile two, let's tap into the energies of pile two. What's going on? Anything we need to know? Any advice, guidance, and wisdom? For my pile to oopsie subscribers <laughs> is always welcome. Let's tap and connect to the pile tubes energies.
must be channeling some ancient energy here. And I just was like, honestly, guys, I've been spending so much time in like places that have like these. Uh, thanks to my boyfriend, he takes me to so many places. I love him. Um, where they have like ancient burial mounds and like seashells, like from these native Indians. And I'm just feeling this so it's like this ancient old energy this magical energy lately I'm like, oh my gosh so maybe uh, it's just downloaded in my spirit just now maybe we're channeling some of that now like oh some ancient indian energy who knows okay i haven't used these cards in months <laughs> so it's it's a nice i think they're they're quite excited they're quite uh energized but it kind of feels like they're just waking up from the longest nap they've ever taken so Bear with me if there's a, like a little delay even in me speaking because I mostly use this card pile for my bookings and my website. I've been thinking of going back to these, but I don't know. We'll see. But um, this... Hmm, this reading... a bit different this one's maybe even a bit heavier of a subject the first pile was kind of lighter like propelling you pushing you I don't want to compare though because they're all so distinctual um, I would say that this is telling you to Take it easy on yourself. I think a lot of you have been hard on yourself, um, thinking that you're not doing good or like you haven't been doing what you're supposed to do. And there's an air, there's a lot of guilt. I haven't been that great at my diet right now. Um, I haven't been doing what I was supposed to be doing. Hmm. You're hurting yourself by these words and these actions and these behaviors. Why would you continue to suffer and plant the seeds of doubt in your mind? Why do that to yourself? Don't do that. I'm here to tell you you're doing flippin' amazing because, honey, um, for you to be struggling with ten swords in your back, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you're strong, right? <laughs> you're really strong to put yourself through all that. Maybe some of you, I don't know, I get this in my spirit, are mothers and you're having three, four, five, ten, twenty, hundred children, and you have like so much to do every day. You don't even have time for yourself. But but you can slowly start to take one of those swords out of your back, right? Like like sort of guilt. Like you don't have to burden yourself with, uh, why did I become a mother? No, give yourself time. It's immediately those words in your mind when they come through immediately replace them with something that will be more productive because you will need to be more challenge yourself to be more productive um, with your time and your energy keep in mind we only have so much energy a day don't be around someone who tires you out all the time right just keep in mind that you gotta find that time for you, okay? What's already done is done. You had the three children, right? For example, it could be anything. You've taken on three jobs, whatever, okay? You have to work and now you're caring for an elderly sick mother or grandmother and then now you have a child to feed and then now you have a husband to take care of because he broke his leg. You see what I'm saying? We can get in this never-ending cycle of suffering and pain, so do something for you. Do something for yourself, even if it means cutting five minutes a day from each person you have to take care of. That adds up to, like, what, 20 minutes a day for you now? If it's five minutes a person, right? The husband, the grandma, you know what I'm saying? So, in fact, it's not selfish. It'll be better for them because now you get to caretake for them better. Maybe some of you are caretakers, nurses, right? Um, 
what can you do then when you come home from work? Right? Okay. Don't forget that. Whether it's just as simple as Epsom salt in a bath. I mean, you know, let's not make excuses for ourselves anymore. We have to love ourselves. Do not, do, do not make an excuse. Love yourself. You better love yourself. Because I love you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I, I feel like work is not going to be an issue anymore, though. It's not work. Like, work is not the issue of your problem anymore. It's more you making the problem. All right. So if you think there's an issue with work, what is it about your mindset about your work that is causing you to suffer and wear out? All right. Um, a lot of you are long term kind of people. I see a lot of you staying in the same job for years and years, decades even maybe. So or at least you want to. So um it's not a matter of leaving or quitting but I would or giving up, but I would say because you got to make this work in the long run to be, have a successful life and career and, like, let's say, retirement, you got to work on the mindset now about how you view things now. Because they're just now. They won't last forever. That burnout won't last forever. That feeling about this place won't last forever. How can you view this in the long term to have a fulfilling, satisfying life, right? So write down what's bothering you maybe every day and, and you can see like slowly over time, oh, maybe that wasn't what was bothering me all along. I just had to get it out on paper. That's why I like journaling. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Like something doesn't even really bother me that much. I just write it down anyway. I write down whatever I'm thinking of that morning and whatever happened yesterday. And I realize looking back, I'm like, oh my God, that bothered me a week ago. I was so silly like you know it it wasn't a big deal a week later is what i'm trying to say or, or i just totally forgot about it right so that helps that helps we have to channel our energy it's energy everything is energy if you just view it like that your life will be so much better and easier things may not be easier in our physical reality right now but you your feeling within it won't affect your phase you it'll kind of just brush on top of you right it won't really absorb into your in your psyche and your deep in your soul that much right because things so much negativity is like trying to attack us right now because we're evolving that we have to realize not to let those things take on in our new reality but to just they'll just brush brush us brush our little skin right all right we're still gonna feel it we're human we're gonna feel the brush right okay but we're, we're not gonna let it absorb in our in ourselves so don't let your work cause you to deteriorate to because it's not the work it's just the way we view work as what's your mindset about working maybe some of you don't like it maybe you don't want to do it but why not have it something that creates excitement in your life gives you something to do i love it you know why it's the best time killer, all right? If you're really not happy with your life, at the very least, it kills a lot of time. <laughs> so you don't have to think about your life for most of the day, right? At least that's why I like to work. I, I don't know what the heck I would do without tarot readings or anything or working at all, ASMR. I don't know what I would do if I didn't had no one to help. I would just be like, I don't know, roaming the street. I would, I would be a bum. I would have nothing to do, so... Um... You know, have something that gives you that purpose, that reason to wake up, right? It get, it gives you at least a time killer if you're really not satisfied with this planet, which I think a lot of us aren't right now. Um, and uh, you get creative. You work harder. You notice you're more productive and efficient. All right. You organize your time. All right. And um, you create a structure in your life and, and a habit. And so I think again long term. What is this benefiting me long term? Um, maybe you didn't feel this way about your work before, but now you do. Okay, I see that. I see this feeling didn't happen before. This is a new feeling, an unfamiliar feeling, an uncomfortable feeling. Um, but keep in mind that uh, 
you knew that you weren't going to feel the same way about your life years ago as you do now. You knew. All right, things are always happening and, and, and changing. So how is it possible that you would feel what you did before now, like five years ago? You're not going to... F- no, that's not possible. You're not going to... You're not even the same person anymore, right? So keep this in the mind and realize that... Um, just even like how a battery charges, right? That battery is not going to be the same battery every time it charges. It's going to weaken over time, lose its whatever power, its oil inside. So keep the acid. I mean, keep in mind, um, everything is not stable, (laughs) especially now. And that you have to adjust to the instability, ride the waves a bit, okay? It's a wavy, bumpy ride right now for everyone so um we just have to accept it and move on there's higher power in play at work clearly here in the cards they're taken over so um what you can do is enjoy the ride and realize that as day to day is changing fast in our lives. Enjoy even that work you do. Because what if it's not there tomorrow? What if that business closed down and you have to leave? What if, you know, your business uh, changes and now you have to relocate? Because you're succeeding. You know? It's not going to be... Nothing is stagnant. We've had stagnancy for too long. It's been overdue to disrupt that. Something was bound to break the shoe was meant to drop eventually right so we know that spiritual tension we're we're very connected with each other and in this community that's why i love you guys so much like we we found each other somehow you found these videos somehow i found you in the comments somehow right like we you found my website somehow right where we can connect one-on-one there's 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 ways and I, I don't believe you meet anyone by accident. I just, I don't buy that. I do not buy that one bit. <sighs> I do not buy that one bit. Like, everyone you've met in your life is no mistake. No coincidental incident. Especially if it's their soulmate. Oh my gosh. No way. All right. Your husband, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife. Are you kidding me? That was by accident? And you just made a child by accident and you happen to love that child by accident? No. <laughs> okay. So isn't that exciting that you can create? Just like you could create a child, you can uh, recharge your batteries and be renewed in the spirit and, and look at your work differently than you did before, right? You see I'm connecting slowly to puzzle pieces. It may not make sense at first, but when we put the piece together, it's like, this is my life and this makes sense and this gives me purpose and fulfillment. Another thing, you working every day, it gives you purpose and fulfillment, a reason, right? I think I said that already, but I want to emphasize it because I feel like a lot of you maybe are have left because you kind of forgot why you started to begin with. All right. Um, just like the swords again, okay, a lot of mother bearing, mother may be pregnant, maybe childbearing age, okay, I think a lot of you have considered, maybe tried, there's some infertility issues, look, just like with work, just like with fertility, just like with anything in your life, you make of it what you will, maybe, just maybe, I would say, in my viewpoint of the world, the Lord is trying to protect you from harm in the future, maybe five years from now, Something will happen f- with you that you will say, thank God I didn't have this child right now. Doesn't mean you never will. But sometimes Spirit's trying to protect you from something, some danger in, ahead of, down the, le- the lane of this road of life. All right? Be at peace with everything. I'm telling you how great a feeling it is to be at peace most of the time because we're still human um 
I wish and I pray that for everyone on this planet, this world would be such a better place. But you got to do the work to maintain peace. It's not easy. It's not easy. You got to do those meditations. You got to put in the work to heal. You got to do that self counseling sometimes, right? You got to you got to sacrifice some time alone to be alone. You know, we don't always have to be with our loved ones. You know, we love them so much and we always want to be with them and we miss them. That's again, that's human. That's the human condition. But Again, let's not attach ourselves and invest ourselves so deeply and heavily in those energies. We want to let go sometimes. We want to detach. We want to. We want to approach things with a healthy attachment. Our work, our love life, our friends, everything. These videos, right? Like, I don't want you to depend on me. You know, even for like. You know, there there were times when I first started tarot, like there were people that, and I appreciate it very much, but there were some people that would book like like five times a day. No, I kid you not. And I'm like, and like asking every question in the world. And I just felt so drained. I felt so tired and I, I just didn't enjoy it as much at that time. And I, I just had to be honest and, you know, I was like, look, I just, you know, once a day, sure, you know, but like I cannot, you, I don't want anyone to depend on me or anyone for anything like all the time, all day, in and out, every day, right? And I've had friends like that and I'm sure you have as well. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, like we don't have to be on the phone 12 hours a day, right? Like we can, we can, we can let go. We can live our life. I love you so much, but part of love is willing to be able to just say, look, <laughs> I need my time, okay? You need your time. I'm at peace with that, right? I was at peace with that all my life, long ago, right? I love to be alone. I'm sure many of you can relate. But yeah, yeah, we do want to be with others sometimes. There's appropriate times, but not all the time. So if there's someone attached to you right now, man, now is the best time more than ever to say, look, I just... How about this? The most loving way you can put it is this, without offending anyone. Because it, 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 it hurts. Like, if, if you were to, like, just say, I'll leave my house, or just, like, you know, it, it's offensive. It's hard. It, it's very hurtful if someone asks you to leave. It really is. A good way to say it is, I love you so much, so here's what we're going to do. Because I love you and you love me. <laughs> anyone, your friend, your partner, whoever, your family member who's visiting you all the time because they want to make you casserole, fine. My point being is, uh, because I love you, let's agree to make certain amount of time per day, once a day, that we can meet up and we can do this and that, right? So I, I feel like a lot of you are having that energy attached to you right now. I would recommend Palo Santo. I recommend Sage. Um, okay, if there's a nagging neighbor next door asking you for sugar every two hours, you know what? You put that sea salt outside, <laughs> that black salt, watch the difference. I'm telling you, I put the black salt all over the barrier of my house. I'm telling you, the neighbors have not annoyed me in months. Not a single peep, a sound, a nuisance, something that irritated me, get on my nerves. I haven't had a stinking incident. Heck, they used to, some neighbor used to play loud music. They even stopped the loud music. Black salt, the power of intention. I haven't worked with with uh, salts and even like good type of magic not obviously not bad magic um there's a thing called good magic back when i was like trying out the new spiritual age stuff like even when i was younger and i believed it so hard it's powerful and i never said this before i don't boast about it i don't brag about my abilities even my whatever psychic nerve that i still believe we all have we just need to tap in um my spiritual psychic journey began 2017. It, I just started getting impressions and it hasn't stopped since. I don't brag. I don't boast about it. I just say it. Okay. I just have to say it because maybe you want to know a little bit of my story, right? Okay. Maybe I'll make a video more in depth about what I used to do and stuff. But my good magic is powerful. Okay. Not to brag, but... <laughs> Even stuff before, like, powerful. That's all I'm going to say. So, you know what? 
that's all I'm going to say, all right? I, like, if you've worked with, like, herbs and crystals and stuff, and you set a good positive intention, I'm telling you, sometimes I even go outside and I pray for my neighbors. I don't even know them. I pray for them. I say, may they be blessed abundantly. I recommend you do the same. This is part of the tarot reading, by the way. I'm not just rambling. I'm connecting with spirit. And sometimes I don't even look at the cards. I don't need to look at the cards to connect with you. Um, and that that's how we connect with anyone, right? We just have a conversation, right? You don't need tarot cards to do that. You don't need tarot cards to know what's wrong with your friend, right? Just talk to them, right? I mean, what happened to communication, right? Like, but, um, like, I feel like we don't even talk with people anymore. Like, neighbors don't even talk to each other. Like, what happened? Anyway, I go outside, put my bare feet on the grass. I pray. I say, may they be blessed. May they receive that surprise check in the mail. May they be... That's the best way to bless yourself. I'm telling you right now, when you send that positive energy to other people that you don't even like, honey, you're going to get that surprise check in the mail. You're going to get that miracle. I'm telling you. And don't just do it for you. Mean it. Genuinely mean it. Wish your neighbors well. And that's in the Bible for a reason. You don't have to be religious or deeply spiritual to know that. I'm not religious. You know, I'm just an average Joe. I don't feel like all that deeply spiritual either. I just kind of like to tap in sometimes here and there, right? It's fun. It's enjoyable. It gets your mind out of this crazy world for a while. So um, because I'm an average Joe, I'm no better than anyone. I don't make much more than anyone, right? Um, I feel I can say that it's possible. It's possible to find that happy medium in your life, to wish others well, and and to get the healing you need, the forgiveness in your heart to to do something like praying for people you don't even know. And I hope this comes across the right way because, uh, again, I'm not trying in any way to say like, you know, oh, I have it better because I'm, I healed myself. No, that took work. You don't know what scars I had to face, what demons and ops you don't even want to know. I won't even tell you. Unless you want nightmares tonight. My point is, we all have to struggle sometimes to get there. And we have to face that obstacle and face that mother flipping demon in the face and say, you know what, you've hurt me for 10 years. I won't let you anymore. Mm hmm. That's right. You can let something break you, or you can let something scar you. So you can heal and just have the scar as a reminder that that's what you've been through and never to go back down that dark path. Because I went down a very dark path at one point in my life. Sometimes you have to be put through the flames to be tested spiritually, to mature, to grow, to get stronger. Those scars are not pretty. But you can put a tattoo over it if you want, honey. <laughs> what does that mean for you? You can make the creativity out of your scar, right? You can make it into something pretty and beautiful. You don't have to oh, feel sorry for yourself and say, because I have this scar now, I'm going to look so ugly. No. You just tell yourself, honey, that's just one little bump in the road. You, you pick yourself right back up where you left off. And you keep going, even if it means you get another scar. Metaphorical again. Scar is not like an actual physical scar. Okay, maybe it is a physical one. Maybe you had an injury or something. You had an accident. You almost died. Okay. I'm telling you, especially when you're in a near-death experience, I think people like that are more tapped in, honestly. There's something about them that draws people in. There's something I've noticed over the years. It's like you've just tapped in somehow. I, I can't explain it. But um, sometimes we need to be put through that, like I said, through the fire and then taken out a bit near near death kind of experience to make us realize like, wow, we need to wake up to this like new world. We've been wasting so much time just doing things that are no longer relevant. So I say that to say that, yeah, just like the hermit here says, it's appropriate time alone. Don't let attached souls take on your energy and your purpose and make you forget why you're here. There's people that sometimes are just assigned on this planet 
to disrupt that flow of your chi, to distract you from your journey. I'm telling you right now, I, I genuinely don't believe there's some people that are actually like here to fill out their own purpose. They're just here to like mess things up sometimes. You know, you've met, we've all met those people that are just so disruptive in so many people's lives. Yeah, they have souls too. Yeah, they're on their healing journey too. We have to have compassion for that. But ooh, if you go down the spiritual rabbit hole, I'm telling you, you find out so much. It's like you just find out nothing at the end of the day because we realize we really don't know anything. There's just so much information. It's like what is right? What is wrong? We don't know. It's crazy. Anyway, moving on. Hope I didn't shift away from... <laughs> too much but I, I there's a reason I said what I said and I'll leave it there <sighs> maybe a lot of this is not absorbing maybe this is too much information even for you uh, at once pause take a break write down what connected with you you know like don't pressure yourself because of the reading right like this is just I always say entertainment only it's just cards okay like let's not take it so seriously my goodness but maybe there's something you need to hear all right. Um, uh, yeah, that's all. I see a lot of lovers, so I think a lot of people got into new relationships and stuff. If there's someone reaching out to you now, maybe on the app or the site or whatever, or at the the club or whatever, the bar, you know, connect, lock eyes, you know, don't be afraid to make love, okay? Like, to have love in your life, okay? Don't restrict yourself. Don't create too many heavy boundaries because of what you once were through. All right. Um, that's over now. You can invite new energy, new love into your life. It's very possible. Okay. Um, and just remember that. Be kind to yourself. You're on this spiritual journey as a spiritual being. So remember that you're not doing anything wrong. No one ever is. No one ever will. It's just the game of life. And you're just this little, like, human on this huge planet that's just beep, 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 doing your own little things and, you know, living your day-to-day -day life. And so is everyone else. We're all the same at the end of the day. So no one's any better or different. So... I mean, we're all stuck here. We might as well enjoy the ride, right? I mean, just letting you know. So uh, if that's something that really tapped in, I'm really grateful to do this reading for you. I do want to do a few more cards before we complete. I know this kind of, I feel like maybe it was a little bit longer than the first pile because I kept going on and on. But um, yeah, there's just so much to say. Let's see. Uh, a lot of you have this restless energy. This is why I saw sort of like um, part of you, a little part of you wants to move away from what you are living now. So maybe your life right now is going great, fine and dandy, but a part of you still wants to separate yourself from that and do something different. I wouldn't. I would not necessarily do that because that's only going back in the past. I feel like some of you have used to do those things where something makes you a little uncomfortable, uneasy, you get triggered, you move away from it as far as you possibly can. This is why you're being tested and pushed. This is why things maybe have been a little worse in some avenues because you have to learn the lesson there. There's not everything's meant to be run from. Certain people may make you feel uncomfortable. What if that was you? What if you were that person in their shoes? Would you make you uncomfortable? No. So we're just like everyone else. So we have to remember that we're all walks of life. We've all had different unique experiences in our life. No one is the same. So aren't we all the same if you think about it? <laughs> How beautiful. So don't run from those that make you feel uncomfortable. I just have to say that. Maybe you took on a new class and there's people that you just don't vibe with there and you kind of make you feel shy. Stick with the class. Stick with them. You may get something out of them you need to hear. At the very least, you know, we as human beings, we kind of want to... We're a little selfish sometimes. We want to benefit from certain things. If you want to be selfish, fine. At least stay there so you can hear some wise old words from 
someone there, okay? There's something you need to know. Just stay there. Stick it through. Whatever it is, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Someone may even need your help there. Okay, that also downloaded just now. You may need to be there for them. Stick it through. Don't just leave, please, okay? You're there for a reason. Always remember, no one you meet's an accident. Um, they may help you, even something with a, a, a career, financial help, something. Um, they may give you a, a great idea for you to run a business. Okay, they may help you in your business, right? They may have the capital to get you that investment you need to get started. Wait. Don't doubt people. Don't doubt their character. Don't doubt what they've been through because they have something to share that's going to be very useful for the tools in your toolbox of life. All right? All right. We don't just go to school for no reason. We learn a lot, okay? That's going to help us in life. All right? We may hate it, but um, there's a reason we have to go through it, okay? All right. It shapes us to who we are. And... Um, Everyone's experience of schooling will be different. So some of you with schooling, something with uh, maybe uh, not enough money to go to a certain college. Someone can help you in some sort of meeting or class or something to help assist you. Maybe they know a, a professor at a university that can help. Wait, okay? Be patient. Be kind. Set the intention that you're going to get there, okay? Every day, just tell yourself, I don't know who I'm going to meet today, what my day will consist of, but I know it's going to get me to the right path I need to go. Give yourself that positive affirmation. And yeah, definitely working with groups. This wouldn't be happening, these pentacles together, if that wasn't what I was seeing. Um, it's a very mixed reading, but like overall, I think because your lives are mixed right now, like you're kind of in transition and going through this and that and changing this and that and career this and that. And so... Um, uh, whatever it may be. Oh, some of you actually have career in school. That makes sense. Like you're a teacher, principal, um, uh, maybe you're just working in a school, right? Like, um, so you just happen to be that electrician that day that comes in and repairs some teacher's broken light, right? Or some wiring that went loose. And then you meet someone in that school you didn't expect would actually help you with something else in the long term. So... Uh, I say that to say um, there's a like-minded, friendly project. Maybe with your friends as well who work similar fields as you. Like minds who can enable you to get ahead somehow, okay? Without using them, of course. You, you, uh, I, I always say the good and the bad, right? I, I always keep in mind, like, yeah... Human beings are inherently great, but uh, we also have that bad side. So sometimes we were like, or, or we have the doubtful side. Like, um, I want to get help from this person, but I'm afraid of losing them because I'm using them. Or, um, oh, I, I kind of secretly want to just ask them this so that I can benefit myself. But I still care about this person and love them deeply, right? Like, we all have that good and bad conflicting. Okay, so... Um, if you're doubting yourself, don't doubt yourself. If you're having that conflicting nature, focus on the good, the inherent good of your true nature, your essence as source energy, okay? Because we're not, none of us are here to harm anyone. Really, we just do that because we've been so harmed by this world and its own inherent nature of being good and bad. So... Keep that in the head, right? Keep your focus. If you get intrusive thoughts that divert your attention, you get anxiety, focus on your inherent good nature and what you can do with that energy, how you can channel it and convert it to something good. All right? So so a lot of you may be having mixed energies right now as well, okay, into this new spiritual transition. Final outcome card, I think working toward acquiring funds for something will be a center focus for a lot of you uh, maybe just having to work all the time to pay the bills and such but remember through that cycle of doing those things what is the good that you find out of those things the gratitude of bringing in that bread on the table to to a happy family with a meal you can bring them like kfc right one day and surprise them right like something always have something to look forward to every day even if it's just a dull gloomy boring rainy snowy sludgy muddy cruddy day <laughs> okay thank you so much for 
uh, listening to this reading. I hope this helped give you the guidance, advice, wisdom. Again, if you want your own personal readings, I'm always every day available. TonyBomboni.com. Take care and have a blessed rest of your evening. Bye-bye now.